What's up everyone? So yet again, I seen some stupid sh You know. I'm gonna try not to swear this much on this video because I actually want my aunt to watch this video. Shout out Auntie Vila. This time, the stupid comes from Cosmopolitan Magazine. The same magazine that tells women once a month 10 new ways to blow her man's mind. But earlier this week, they decided to write an op-ed titled Parents, Don't Dress Your Kids Up as Moana This Halloween. With the tagline, If your kid wears a racist costume, you're kind of wearing it too. So, yep. Here we are again, just like last year, where Halloween costumes are racist. I swear these social justice warriors are doing their absolute best to suck the fun out of everything for everyone. And I'm sure they learned some of these sucking techniques from Cosmopolitan Magazine. I will say, though, that there is something deeply racist and offensive uh, about this whole Moana costume thing. But, unfortunately for the social justice warriors, the racism isn't coming from little elementary white girls who want to dress up as Moana this year. And, I don't know, maybe little fabulous white boys who want to dress up as her too. Let me read you a quote from the article. It says, Moana is a really special character to young girls of Polynesian descent who have never seen a Disney princess who looks like them. And uh, throughout a couple of other paragraphs, it just kind of talks about how Polynesians aren't well represented in Hollywood in general. Essentially telling us that little Polynesian girls can only relate to certain characters as long as they look like them. Which is also strange because when I was growing up, Power Rangers was my favorite show. And my favorite Power Ranger was always the black guy they had on rotation. He was just cooler. Regardless, despite the fact that literally zero Polynesian public figures have stepped forward and condone, or condemned these uh, costumes as the racist icons they apparently are... Um, these 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 white people have have put it on themselves to step forward and speak on our behalf thank you how gracious of you i came across this personally when on a public forum on facebook i decided to voice my opinion on the topic and just simply say well i'm polynesian and i don't think these halloween costumes are racist at all well Apparently I was wrong because a social justice warrior, college student, white girl, decided to jump on me and say, well, actually they are racist. They're not only racist to you, but they're racist to your entire heritage. When I responded and said, well, every Polynesian I know and probably most every Polynesian out there doesn't see a little white girl dressing up as a fictional character as racist and, and and you would think feminists would be behind this right little white girls looking up to a strong independent minority who who who, who goes against the system even breaking taboos to do what's right you'd think feminists would be all over that but no no apparently it's racist well, after I tell her, you know, no, nobody sees it as racist, her response to me was, well, judging by the fact you describe yourself as an oil man on your page and judging by the picture of that nice truck you have, you're just too privileged to recognize this racism. It must have just gone right over your privileged head. I shit you not. Let me break it down. What constituted my privilege as a Polynesian was that I had a job and I owned a vehicle. This is what made me privileged. This is how low she views Polynesians. Okay? 
It's almost as if she got her view of Polynesians from the movie Moana, where all of us should just be in huts on an island singing about the coconuts. So this is her view of Polynesians. Yet little white girls and little fabulous white boys who want to dress as Moana are the racists? Really? But anyways, when I told her none of those things should matter, right? The fact I have a job and a truck, that none of those should matter when we're talking about ideas and opinions. Her last response, her knockdown argument against me was, well, I guess I just care more about your people than you do. This is what's called the bigotry of low expectations, right? Where, where, where they feel they must be our moral bodyguards, protecting our fragile mind and our fragile eyes from seeing the horrific display of little white girls and little fabulous white boys as dressing up as Moana. They're essentially looking at us and saying, sh 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 you poor, ignorant, stupid fool. You're clearly suffering from internalized racism. You've, uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'll fight the good fight for you, okay? Uh, uh, you're obviously too brainwashed to know any better. I'll be offended for you. This is the take of every social justice warrior espousing cultural appropriation. Yet somehow, it's Halloween costumes that are racist. Hmm, I think a little self-awareness would go a long way for these Caucasian beacons of moral virtue. At its best, this is nothing but white guilt-fueled virtue signaling, right? Where they get to say, look how good I am, that I will tell other white people not to appropriate your culture on your behalf. See, I'm a self-loathing white person. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the good guys. It's that, that's what it is at its best. And at its worst is a nasty display of political opportunism where they create a false narrative of victimhood, right? Where they make us victims of imaginary crimes to turn us on their side to use us as a tool to push their own political agenda, their own agenda of identity politics, uh, uh, and even worse, their anti-white ident identity politics. This is textbook fake altruism, where they, where they pretend to care about the issues surrounding the Polynesian community when really all they're doing is attempting to make us victims so that they can be our bodyguards, that we have to look up to them as our, as, as our protectors. And it's so obvious that uh, this is nothing but political opportunism because these social justice warriors only take the time to come out of their parents' basement when something happens that no Polynesian actually cares about. And, and, and they still drum it up into this huge racist story, like when Jennifer Lawrence scratched her ass on the sacred rocks in Hawaii. But don't get me going on that again. And it's so obvious that they don't actually even care about Polynesians. Hell, it's obvious they don't even care about cultural appropriation. Because, uh, have you guys seen the Cosmopolitan article titled, Hey, Douchebags at the gym, stop getting Polynesian tattoos without researching what they mean. You guys seen that article? I ain't seen it. Someone should probably write it though, because I'm tired of seeing all those gym douchebags walking around with tattoos displaying how they're a married woman. Or how about the article titled, Hey, high school white guys, stop doing the haka. 
<laughs> well, let me let me let me break the script real quick and uh, clue clue you uh, white guys who love doing the haka in. Um, it's not that you're white and doing the haka; it's that you guys suck at it. Okay, uh, just, just practice more. All right, because for us polys watching you guys do the haka, at first, at first, it's like the the when you're in the crowd at a football stadium and you're watching the Downsy cheerleader do, you know, cheerlead. You know, we're kind of up there like, ah, at least those Polly's gave them a chance. You know, at least they're trying. But, but when you guys suck at it, then it's like watching the Downsy cheerleader fall flat on her face because now we're all cringing and we're like kind of looking at each other like, yo, yo, didn't, I didn't see it. Did you? I didn't see that. Nope. <laughs> all right. Just practice, all right? Just just get with the Tongan kid on the team. He probably plays D-line. Just get with him and, and learn how to do it better, all right? Uh, and I'm not saying this because I'm offended when I see white people do the haka or even do it badly. No, I'm saying this on your behalf. Stop embarrassing yourself, all right? You guys are nothing but laughing material for Polynesians who are watching you. But anyways, back to the task at hand. Um, well... Here's my message to any Polynesian who might actually agree with the social justice warriors and, and, and might take offense to seeing little white girls and little fabulous white boys wearing Moana costumes. Uh, first off, first off, please recognize that all you are is their little lap dog. All you are is a pawn in their political uh, uh, identity politics game. That's all you are. All the, uh, they, just, they just roll you out to say, hey, look, we got one. We got one that's offended. Yeah. Now, now listen to us because, look, here's one. Here's one who, who's pissed off about this. Like, if, if you actually are offended by the costumes, then I have one thing to say to you. Get over yourself. Grow the fuck up. Seriously. Like, like. My, the, 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 the girl I got into a comment war with who called me privileged because I didn't, I, I was too privileged to recognize the racism of this. No, no. The, the only person who's privileged is the one who has time to care about Halloween costumes and the time to, 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 to call it racist. Those are obviously the privileged ones. Because I'm just so privileged that I have to work 12 hours a day that I don't have time to give a shit about Halloween costumes. And so do 90% of other Polynesians out there who are out there working jobs and supporting families. All right? So get out, get, grow the fuck up with your, your offense and your feelings. No one cares. God. And what else you are offended snowflake Polynesians. What, what else you are is just a club. You're a club that they get to hold in their hands to beat over the heads of everyone else and drum their identity politics into other people. That's it. Because you've fallen for their fake altruism. Because they don't care about us. They don't care about the, 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 the problems facing the Polynesian community. Where are they? Where are they when our high school dropout rates are rising? More of our poly youth are dropping out of high school and going into poverty. We, us Polynesians, are now above Hispanics, right below blacks, on the poverty rate per capita, and it's climbing. Where, where are these social justice warriors when, when our Tongan youth our poly youth are joining gangs in higher numbers and getting locked up. Where are they speaking out on this? Where the fuck are you? We are over here busy talking about Halloween costumes. This is what I'm offended about. This is what pisses me off. Is that you self-righteous motherfuckers are over here preaching to us about Halloween costumes as if we should care. Get over yourself. This is nonsense. And you're siding with the actual racists who are using us, just trying to use our identity to push their agenda 
Wake the fuck up. Think for yourself. I'm, I'm tired of this. God, I'm so tired of all this nonsensical social justice warrior nonsense. Get it. Go live in the real world. Try, try, try being homeless. God, and then, and then come talk to me about Halloween costumes. I, I, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. God. But to the Polynesians who are actually smart and don't care about Moana costumes, please speak out against this. We need more of us fighting back against these political opportunists who are only trying to use us. Fight back. Speak out. Don't be silent about this. Because this, this, is, this is actually pretty bad. And, and, it's, and it's not helping. It's making things worse by shifting focus from the real issues facing our community. And, and, and it's, it's, it's it just, please, please recognize this for what it is. And, and to all you, all you white people who, who want to dress up as Moana, dress up as Moana. I don't care if you're five or if you're 50. Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a competition. Okay, if I woke up November 1st and CNN played this article or, you know, started playing this story like every single child in America dressed up as Moana, I would be like, sweet. That's because our culture is just badass. That's because we're cool. You know, <laughs> the get rid of let it go. It's about how far I'll go. Right. Every kid dressed up as Moana. That would be awesome. That would be sweet. I would call up, I would call up my Arab friends and be like, yo, looks like Jasmine's out, bro. <laughs> Man, yeah. Blow it up your ass, Elza. <laughs> Blow it up your ass, social justice warriors too. But anyways, if you watched this far, thanks for watching. And you know what else what else can I say? What else can I say except you're welcome. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. But, yep, thanks for watching. I'm Finay Taiho, and this is the Melting Progressive Snowflakes Who Post Memes to Pretend Like They Know What They're Talking About show. Out.